<laughs> this is gonna be a funny little bit of a video. But here we are in Minerva Reef. And it's blowing like heck. Joyce was just up changing the anchor, or uh, putting some more anchor rod out. Right now it's only blowing about 30, as you can see. But uh, it's calmed down quite a bit now. It was up to close to 40, 35 to 40 a while back. Been blowing for a while. So this is Minerva Reef. <coughs> One of the things about... This is going to be a funny little bit of a video. But here we are in Minerva Reef. And it's blowing like heck. Joyce was just up changing the anchor, or uh, putting some more anchor rod out. Right now it's only blowing about 30, as you can see. But uh, it's calmed down quite a bit now. It was up to close to 40, 35 to 40 a while back. Been blowing for a while. So this is Minerva Reef. <clears throat> One of the things about Minerva is, we're just simply in the middle of the ocean here. With, uh, and there's a circular reef with a little pass in it. We can come in through the reef and anchor in here. And there are about five or six boats in here anchored. And that's about it. So you can't see the reef from here because of the weather. Uh, the other side of the reef, but it's about uh, two and a half miles inside the lagoon here, across. Got everything up because it's so wet. You can't see a whole lot here. There's Muna. <coughs> Over there, this came in this morning, lucky to get in in time. We came in yesterday, lucky to get in. And here's our crew person. Hi, Neil. Howdy. <laughs> Neil's We're having been, fun now. Neil's been doing plumbing work. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Conlon will be Conlon so jealous. Really need him. <laughs> yeah, Conlon should be here, right? Jim, you bum, you missed out on this. <laughs> An experience of a lifetime. Yeah. <clears throat> we hope it works, though, Neil. What? Yeah, Jim is the, the plumbing. Neil, plumbing. Neil is the water maker. Plumbing is a one. <laughs> Neil is the water maker. Yeah, this is fun. Don't throw this away, Neil. This has saved our lives many times. Oh, that's precious. This is worth more than gold. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to straighten that out oh, and I... put him away. Him? <laughs> this is a him? I thought it was a her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it is. Well, no, it's yeah, I it guess projects, it's so it's male. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you do. <it. laughs> if only you knew where that had been. <laughs> 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 so I, just, I got a cute story about, like, that, about that. So I'm 16 years old. There's this real cute girl. I get my first car, and we take him up. We go up to the Danbury State Fair. Patty, my Pat, 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 Pat's Pat's probably going to hear this, by the way. Let's Connecticut, see it. right? And she, she's a real cute girl, you know. And so there's an auction, and they're auctioning off all these uh, all these things from. Uh, all these tools and stuff like that. So he has this uh, drop cord, and he says, here I got a drop cord, it says a male and a female connector. And so the girl asked me, why do they call it a male and a female connector? What an opportunity. <laughs> I was 16, I drove her home and didn't date her again. <laughs> <laughs> what an opportunity. Why do it? That's like when you sent me to the store to get a, a, a female something or other, or, and I wouldn't do it because I thought it was a joke. I thought it was dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, was, I was so embarrassed. I mean, I was... I, was <laughs> I, knew, I knew what a male <laughs> Well, you knew what a male part was in those days, but you probably didn't know what a female was. Right. Really. <laughs> you had some vague notion. Right. Uh, no. Alright. Still blowing Sorry. 30. We had 38. 38, uh, is that what it was? I saw 38, but uh, you have to have two to see it, otherwise it's not the verified. Or... I saw 30. I, th I saw close to that. So th I did see 38. The mic was up. Mic was slowly. Oh, it's down. You let me get you. You look like a drowned rat. <laughs> is it on? Yeah. It's on recording. right now? It's recording. recording? Well, just recording. To... How does a drowned rat look? 
the, here's Mike. He looks like a drowned rat. He looks like a refugee. Where's that green sweater of yours? <laughs> Okay. So Beautiful far, South Pacific. Yeah, the South Pacific, right? The, the Pacific, yeah. this is. Right? Where's, where's your suntan lotion, Neil? <laughs> where's that big thing of suntan lotion you have? It means peace, Here peaceful it sea. Here it is. The water baby has Don't not... need it. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Wasn't there one afternoon when the sun almost came out that you put some on? Actually, yes. Actually, yes. Yeah. This is going to be a funny little bit of a video. But here we are in Minerva Reef and it's blowing like heck. Joyce was just up changing the anchor, or uh, putting some more anchor road out. Right now it's only blowing about 30 as you can see but uh, it's calmed down quite a bit now. It was up to close to 40, 35 to 40 a while back. It's been blowing for a while. So this is Minerva Reef. <coughs> One of the things about Minerva is we're just simply in the middle of the ocean here with uh, and there's a circular reef with a little pass in it. We can come in through the reef and anchor in here. And there are about five or six boats in here anchored. And that's about it. So you can't see the reef from here because of the weather. Uh, the other side of the reef is about uh, two and a half miles inside the lagoon here across got everything up because it's so wet. You can't see a whole lot here. There's Muna <coughs> over there. This came in this morning, lucky to get in in time. We came in yesterday, lucky to get in. And here's our crew person. Hi, Neil. Hi. <laughs> Neil's having been, fun now. Neil's been doing plumbing work. <laughs> Jim Conlon will Where's be Conlon so jealous. Will need him. <laughs> yeah, Conlon should be here, right. Jim, you bum, you missed out on this. <laughs> An experience of a lifetime. Yeah. <clears throat> we hope it works, though, Neil. What? Yeah, Jim is the, the plumbing. Neil, plumbing. Neil is the water maker. Is a one. <laughs> Neil is the water maker. Yeah, this is fun. Don't throw this away, Neil. This has saved our lives many times. Oh, that's precious. This is worth more than gold. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to straighten that out. Oh, and... I... Put him away. Him? <laughs> it's a him? I thought it was a her. <laughs> well, maybe it is. Well, no, it's. Yeah, I it guess projects, it's a him. so it's male. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you do. <it. laughs> if only you knew where that had been. <laughs> so, so I, was, I got a cute story about that. About that. So I'm 16 years old. This is a real cute girl. I get my first car. And we take them up. We go up to the Danbury State Fair. Patty, my Pat, field. Pat, Pat's probably going to hear this, by the way. Let's Connecticut, see it. right? And she, she's a real cute girl, you know. And so there's an auction, and they're auctioning off all these, uh, all these things from uh, all these tools and stuff like that. So he has this uh, drop cord, and he says, "Here I got a drop cord. It says a male and a female connector." And so the girl asked me, "Why do they call it a male and a female connector?" What an opportunity. <laughs> I was 16. I drove her home and didn't date her again. <laughs> what an opportunity. Why do it? That's like when you sent me to the store to get a, a, a female something or other, or, and I wouldn't do it because I thought it was a joke. I thought it was dirty. <laughs> well, I, was, I was so embarrassed. I, mean, I was 16. <laughs> I knew. I knew what a male bar was. <laughs> well, you knew what a male bar was in those days, but you probably didn't know what a female was. Right. <laughs> you had some vague notion. Right. Uh, All right. Still blowing Sorry. 30. You had 38. 38, is that what it was? I saw 38, but uh, you have to have two to see it, otherwise it's not the verified. Or... I saw 30. I, th I saw close to that. I did see 38. Mike was up. Mike was forward. Oh, it's on. You let me get you. You look like a drowned rat. Is it on? Yeah. It's on recording. right now? It's recording. recording? Well, just recording. To... How does a drowned rat look? The, here's Mike. He looks like a drowned rat. He looks like a refugee. Where's that green sweater of yours? <laughs> 
Okay. So Beautiful the South Pacific. Yeah, the South Pacific. Right, the, <laughs> the Pacific. Yeah. This is, right? Where's, where's your suntan lotion, Neil? <laughs> where's that big thing of suntan lotion you have? It means peace, Here peaceful it sea. Here it is. The water baby has Don't not... Don't need it. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there one afternoon when the sun almost came out that you put some on? Actually, yes. Actually, yes. You're going so, back to work? So, Mike wants to know if we're going to barbecue tonight. Where's the barbecue? There oh, it is. There. Out there barbecue. in the rain. No, I think we're not going to barbecue tonight and it will be another cereal night. <laughs> it's cereal last night. The cook quit. <laughs> the cook temp took a temporary leave of absence. Well, can we see Neil? Oh no, he's down working, but you can't see him. You're going so, back to work? Mike wants to know if we're going to barbecue tonight. Where's the barbecue? There oh, it is, out there, out there in the rain. No, I think we're not going to barbecue tonight, and it will be another cereal night. We had cereal last night. The cook quit. <laughs> the cook temp took a temporary leave of absence. Well, can we see Neil? Oh no, he's down working, but you can't see him. Well, this is uh, the next day. And uh, we decided to up anchor and come over to this side because it would be less windy and it would be a lot, lot more comfortable. So here we are, we're anchored on the other side now. And it's only blowing 30 to 35 over here. <laughs> but it's a lot more comfortable. <laughs> but it is a lot more comfortable. Here's Muna out there. Boy, Muna's, uh, Muna was the last one to come over from the other side. And they're anchoring a long way out, yeah, further out, so they're getting a lot more swing on their line. So here's where we are. Fun, honey. <laughs> yeah, we decided that Neil needed the experience to experience a, a proper blow. We wanted him to have a full range of experiences on the boat. We didn't want to deny him anything. Right. A little mini hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. We're going to leave today, but we decided uh, the other boat just said they chickened out. Well, I guess we chickened out too, or at least I chickened out. So maybe we'll leave. The thing is, the thing is this. The weather charts that we're getting said that it was supposed to blow today uh, 10 knots from the southeast. Well, here it is. You can see what it is here. Now tomorrow, those same charts say this blows to about 25. So if they're out by another 15 knots uh, tomorrow, it means it's gonna be blowing 40 or 50. So I don't know how accurate they are anymore. This is the reef that you see over there in the distance. We move to the uh, southeast side of Minerva Reef. So while there's just as much wind over here, the tide's low right now, and it's all time low. So uh, later on in the day, the tide starts to rise, the waves will start to come over the top of that reef. Probably be a bit more bumpy, but it's a lot calmer here than it was on the other side where we're getting the full force of the waves. So that's it, a couple more boats coming in. Big party tonight. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, the next day, and uh, we decided to up anchor and come over to this side because it would be less windy and it would be a lot, lot more comfortable. So here we are, we're anchored on the other side now and it's only blowing 30 to 35 over here. <laughs> but it's a lot more comfortable. <laughs> but it is a lot more comfortable. Here's Muna out there. Boy, Muna's, uh, Muna was the last one to come over from the other side. And they're anchoring a long way out, yeah, further out, so they're getting a lot more swing on their line. So here's where we are.
fun, honey? <laughs> We decided that Neil needed the experience to experience a, a proper blow. We wanted him to have a full range of experiences on the boat. We didn't want to deny him anything. Right. A little mini hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. We're going to leave today, but we decided uh, the other boat just said they chickened out. Well, I guess we chickened out too, or at least I chickened out. So maybe we'll leave. The thing is, the thing is this: the weather charts that we're getting said that it was supposed to blow today uh, 10 knots from the southeast. Well, here it is. You can see what it is here. Now, tomorrow, those same charts say it's supposed to blow 25. So if they're out by another 15 knots uh, tomorrow, it means it's going to be blowing 40 or 50. So I don't know how accurate they are anymore. Anyway, this is the reef that you see over there in the distance. We move to the uh, southeast side of Minerva Reef. So while there's just as much wind over here, and the tide's low right now, and it's all time low. So uh, later on in the day, when the tide starts to rise, the waves will start to come over the top of that reef. It'll probably be a bit more bumpy, but it, it's a lot calmer here than it was on the other side where we're getting a full force of the waves. Boats coming in. Big party tonight. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about it, so uh, now when I get up there, I'm going to have to make a machine shop, have it buffed up properly. But uh, so it's, I, I don't have the strength in it. It keeps on shearing these little stainless steel screws I put in. So uh, and it's, a, it's a joy, isn't it? <laughs> Ryan can't get over this. <laughs> he just can't believe it all. How, how, he wants to know how to neck handle this or Oh, he's, Nick's not doing too good. He's fixing the head. Uh, no, have you a problem with your head, or? Yeah, I forgot about it. So uh, now when I get up there, I'm going to make a machine shop, have it buffed up properly. But uh, so it's, I, I don't have the strength in it. It keeps on shearing these little stainless steel screws I put in. So uh, and it's, a, it's a joy, isn't it? Ryan can't get over this. <laughs> he just can't believe it at all. How, how, he wants to know how to neck handle it or Oh, he's, Nick's not doing too good. He's fixing the head. Uh, no, have you a problem with your head or Yep. Yeah, well, it sure is nice to be in here. I think I don't even think even when the tide comes up, it'll be bouncing, but nothing like it was. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, here, here. Okay, Terry, uh, all the best. One six. One six. Terry? Laura? Yeah, just to say that um, I think that's beyond the call of duty for your crew there. I mean, Laura thought she had a tough skipper, <laughs> but even she thinks that's beyond the table. Uh. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Doing the head. I, mean, uh, I plugged it up and you get the crew to clean it. Ah, did well, you hear that, Neil? I don't know. I mean, there, there is a saying about that, but I won't sort of say it over the airways. So. Mark, are you listening to my conversation? Katie does, um, no, I'm, I'm um, translucent. He said I plugged the head um, the crew unplugs uh, it. Transparent or, uh, yeah, yeah, over. As a <laughs> dreamer. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> well, why don't you come over for a drink? Uh, uh, about if, you, if you dive in and stroke hard, you can get here in about 25 uh, crawl strokes. <laughs> so, Laura did find she a swimmer, actually, Terry, but um, she, uh, for some reason, yeah, yeah, for some reason she chickened out. Yeah, things are getting pretty desperate here. She's... Oh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's uh, I got an announcement to make for it. Everybody, the head is now working. <laughs> well, come over to your place, then. No, I'm not, I'm not christening at first. And this I'm is what we listen to all day long. That's Terry on Stella and uh, Muna and Aldebaran from Ireland. Muna from England and Terry from Canada on Stella. That's Malcolm from Muna talking. All right, well, tomorrow, we're going to go catch some lobsters. Do something. But I'm not leaving here until there's no wind. I'm not going. Yeah, well, it sure is nice to in here, I think I don't even think even when the tide comes up, it'll be bouncing, but nothing like it was. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, here, here. Okay, Terry, uh, all the best. One six. One six. Terry. Soda. 
Yeah, I just to say that um, I think that's beyond the call of duty for your crew there. I mean, Laura thought she had a tough skipper, <laughs> but even she thinks that's beyond the call. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, Doing the head. I, mean, uh, I plugged it up and you get the crew to clean it. Did well, you hear that, Neil? I don't know. I mean, there, there is a saying about that, but I won't sort of say it over the airways. So. Mark, are you listening to my conversation? No, I'm um, um, translucent. He said I plugged the head the crew. I'm uh, Transparent or, uh, you yeah, know, yeah, over. As a dreamer. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> well, why don't you come on for a drink? Uh, uh, about if, you, if you dive in and stroke hard, you can get here in about 25 uh, crawl strokes. <laughs> Laura did say she used to swim, actually, Terry, but um, she, uh, for some reason, yeah, yeah, for some reason she chickened out. Yeah, things are getting pretty desperate here. She's... Well, yeah, sure. Oh, it's a bit. I got an outfit to make sure it's just for there, but the head is now working. <laughs> well, come over to your place, then. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not Christy at first. This I'm is what we listen to all day long. That's Terry on Stella and uh, Muna and Aldebaran from Ireland. Muna from England and Terry from Canada on Stella. That's Malcolm from Muna talking. Do something, but I'm not leaving here until I'm not going. Oh, I would. Yeah, well, we had to stop for a while and that was in the anchorage yesterday so um I, you know i believe anything at the moment ever yeah oh well it all oh, y'all write it up in your log and when you're old first you can look at it and laugh we want to make sure that when your head's working we're not downstream from you yeah well mike i'll tell you it was touch and go here for a minute i was just about to swim over in the morning <laughs> <laughs> no good no good our, our crew guy won't fix our head <laughs> well you've got the wrong crew guy that's obviously so uh no, we've got some joy here on board. Everybody's smiling again, so there's pretty long faces around here the last little while. <laughs> old days, well, thing, things do get inside. a little plugged up there, I guess, you know. It tends to make long faces out of everybody. Yeah, especially the skipper, because I, I knew I had to, if, if, if I had no joy, I guess it would be in there. Oh, boy. Anyway, uh, it's done, and I now I'm real happy. I think I can have a scotch. <laughs> Take care. Harry. Yes. Just one minute. Uh, is there a place in your in New Zealand called Nick's Head? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there is a place in Minerva Reef called Nick's Head now. This is called Nick's Head Anchorage. Nick's Head. Okay, listen, that's, uh, I'm going back to 1-6. I can't, I can't keep up with this conversation. <laughs> so there we are in Minerva Reef. Right there where you see that little circle. That's us. That's us, and the other boats are right next, anchored around here somewhere. Aldebaran's right behind us, Muna's over here, Stella's right here, uh, Dirty Dotty is over here, Rainbow Catcher's over this way, Catch Us is down here. That's it. Bye. Oh, I would. Yeah, well, we had, we had to stop for a while, and that was in the anchorage yesterday, so, um, I, you know, I believe anything at the moment, ever. Yeah. Oh, well, it all, oh, you all write it up in your log, and when you're old first, you can look at it and laugh. We want to make sure that when your head's working, we're not downstream from you. Yeah, well, Mike, I'll tell you, it was touch and go here for a minute. I was just about to swim over in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no good, no good. Our, our crew guy won't fix our head. <laughs> well, you've got the wrong crew guy. That's <laughs> obviously. So, uh, no, we've got some joy here on board. Everybody's smiling again, so there's pretty long faces around here the last little while. <laughs> old days, well, thing, things do get inside. a little plugged up there, I guess, you know. It tends to make long faces out of everybody. Yeah, especially the skipper, because I, I knew I had to, if, if, if I had no joy, I guess it would be in there. And, oh, boy. Anyway, uh, it's done, and I now I'm real happy. I think I can have a scotch. <laughs> Take care. Harry. Yes. Just one minute. Uh, is there a place in your in New Zealand called Nick's Head? Oh. <laughs> there is a place in Minerva Reef called Nick's Head now. This is called Nick's Head Anchorage. Nick's Head. Okay, listen, that's, uh, I'm going back to 1-6. I can't, I can't keep up with this conversation. <laughs> so there we are in Minerva Reef. Right there where you see that little circle. That's us. 
that's us. And the other boats are right next, anchored around here somewhere. Aldebaran's right behind us. Moon is over here. Stella's right here. Uh, Dirty Dottie is over here. Rainbow Catch is over this way. Catch us is down here. That's it. Bye. So that's Stella over there. And there's Muna. Right behind Stella. And then we're starting to look at the surf. The tide's rising, so uh, we've been on a low tide. And uh, the tide's coming up. So we're going to have more water coming over the top of the reef tonight. I guess high tide to midnight. So we should have a little bit of that surf coming over the top. So that's Stella over there. And there's Muna. Right behind Stella. And then we're starting to look at the surf. The tide's rising, so uh, we've been on a low tide. And uh, the tide's coming up. So we're going to have more water coming over the top of the reef tonight. I guess high tide to midnight. So we should have a little bit of that surf coming over the top. Yeah, it's gone. The beach is gone. What's that? The beach is gone. The beach is gone, yeah. We had a beach there for a while. The trouble with this is uh, doing it in the wind, you get so much noise. <clears throat> I put my finger over the yeah, window. thing here, yeah. The beach is gone, yeah. We had a beach there for a while. The trouble with this is uh, doing it in the wind, you get so much noise. <clears throat> I put my finger over the yeah, window thing here, yeah. Aldebaran. Aldebaran. Well, here we are, the next day, and it's wash day today. Here's, dub dub. here's Neil <laughs> washing out a few of his delicate things. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, it's still honking out here, but not quite as bad here's as it was. My, uh, here's my hot pants. Hot pants. You used those to do aerobics this morning up on the deck. <laughs> oh, it's another fine day in the Anchorage. Yeah, let's see. It's only blowing. Uh, oh, it's only blowing 27 or 28 today. 25 or 26. 
Not bad. Neil. <laughs> hey, not fair. We just had a wonderful breakfast of pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. Blueberry right. pancakes. Yeah, blueberry. Come on the reef. Yeah. <laughs> Getting it on the, the line without it blowing off, right? Oh, yeah. And I counted the clothes pegs before I gave them to you, so I want to make sure that they all come back. <laughs> <laughs> There's Aldebaran. Pat Murphy from Ireland. Pat Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> should, should we tell them to smile? Yeah. Well, here we are, the next day, and it's wash day today. Here's, dub dub. here's Neil, <laughs> washing out a few of his delicate things. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it's still honking out here, but not quite as bad here's as it was. My, uh, here's my hot pants. Hot pants. You used those to do aerobics this morning up on the deck. <laughs> Oh, it's another fine day in the Anchorage. Yeah, let's see, it's only blowing, uh, oh, it's only blowing 27 or 28 today, 25 or 26. Not bad. Neil. <laughs> hey, not fair. We just had a wonderful breakfast of pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. Blueberry right. pancakes. Yeah, blueberry. Come on the reef. Yeah. <laughs> Getting it on the, the line without it blowing off, right? Oh, yeah. And I counted the clothes pegs before I gave them to you, so I want to make sure that they all come back. <laughs> <laughs> There's Aldebaran. Pat Murphy from Ireland. Pat Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> should, should we tell them to smile? Yeah. Here's our intrepid mariner gonna go get some get us some lobster on the reef. was the last we saw of Neil, Pat, honest. <laughs> Here's our intrepid mariner gonna go get some, get us some lobster on the reef. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> See you later, alligator. That was the last we saw of Neil, Pat, honest. <laughs> Thank you.
wonder if he's standing up. Oh, uh, looks like he might be. I wonder if he's standing up. Oh, uh, looks like he might be.
by the way, this time. Try pulling the ladder down. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. You wouldn't want to be really tired. You want to hand your flippers up? this time. Try pulling the ladder down. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. You want to be really tired. Gonna hand your flippers up? Good hunter. Back from the expeditions. Very good. Very, very good. Let me see how many lobsters I got. Okay, how many did you get? <laughs> uh -huh. There's one. It's got a oh, white. It's a white lobster. Oh well, how was it over there? It was, it was very nice, great, uh, great fish. Nice fish. Coral heads, really nice fish. Bus fish, neon tetras, tang. Great stuff. Rapid Hunter, back from the expeditions. Very good. Very, very good. Let me see how many lobsters I got. Okay, how many did you get? <laughs> There's one. It's kind of white. It's a white lobster. Two. That's it. I actually threw them all back. Here they are. Yeah. Oh well. How was it over there? It was, it was very nice. Great, uh, great fish. Nice fish. Little coral heads. Really nice fish. Bus fish. Neon tetras. Right. There's Dad and Neil out for a snorkel. Dad and Neil out for a snorkel. regular town here. Where are they? regular town here. Where are they? And there are Dad and Neil somewhere just below the surface of the water.
still blowing like crazy as you can hear I'm sure down there somewhere. Where is he? There he is. Hello. See anything interesting? That kneel somewhere just below the surface of the water. Still blowing like crazy, as you can hear, I'm sure. down there somewhere. Where is he? There he is. Hello. See anything interesting? Forehead that comes straight up like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. High forehead and straight back. 